so I my camera ran out of memory so my video was cut so I'm just going to continue where I left off and I'm going to press enter to start start taking images from the camera and storing it in a folder so now the software is looking for images found zero now it's found one so now I'm gonna go to my folder and open it up and see my pictures or photographs as you can see, well if now you can see uh, with the back background that there are pic uh, pictures being uploaded to this folder now seeing what type of picture is not really important all that I need here is to sh uh, see that indicate that there is something in front of the camera and the way this camera is going to operate with this system is once there is an object in front of the camera it's going to be block uh, the object is going to block the light and the camera is going to have to change uh, re readjust itself and that causes the LED here, the flashes to stop much longer. And I'm gonna use that trigger uh, uh, to actuate or communicate with the robotic arm and tell the ro robotic arm that there is an object or, or obstacle in this position and that will cause this LED to turn on the yellow LED and then the robotic arm will pick up the second object and place it here automatically without me having to manually flip the switch. I can still leave the switch here just so I can manually tell the uh, robotic arm that there is an ob obstacle here. And the, the other option is I can also use a Wi-Fi signal <coughs> to tell the Brasio robotic arm that there's an object here. but. The, for the meantime, what I want to do is have the robotic arm just use this camera and and know that there's an object or obstacle here. So I'm going to show you that when I blocked all of the light with the lens cap, the, the photos here are going to all turn black and the light is going to shut off shut off for a much longer period so I'll put in the cap you have to wait for it there are about the black photos now so it turns off and that's the trigger and it was off for much longer see And that would be the trigger that I will use. So this is how I adapted this camera setup to work. And I will use that to communicate with this in my final project. Thank you for watching.